And like I said, I totally agree that at the horizon, there's all kinds of neato junk happening. You could see it. And all of the evidence and all the reporting and all the displays quite firmly shows that the Earth is curved. And like I said, I totally agree that at the horizon, there's all kinds of neato junk happening. You could see it. And all of the evidence and all the reporting and all the displays quite firmly shows that the Earth is curved. Well, Sly Sparkane thinks Salton Sea quite firmly proves a globe. Pretty funny stuff when you see the white car mirroring. He admits there's all sorts of funny stuff going on and then proclaims the footage proves a globe. Fucking hilarious if you ask me. Anyway, I thought I would do a Salton Sea style flat earth observation at my home lake to show fools like Sly Sparkane in his echo chamber how wrong they are. This is Colin's pool in Mandurah, and on some nights it's like a glass tabletop. Tonight was one of those nights. The moon and the stars were reflecting perfectly in the glassy water. So let's get the formalities out of the way. Water temp, 20 degrees. Air temp, 19 degrees. Time, just after sunset, 15 June 2018. Distance to Dawesville Bridge from Heron Point, 16.42 kilometres. Tripod height above water, 0.43 metres, measured with a measuring tape. Expected hidden height, 15.5 metres or 51 feet. Please forgive the footage not being perfect. I had the tripod in the water to get it as low as possible. It was 43 centimetres above the water. Tripod legs were sinking into the sand, so it was quite difficult to keep it smooth. I'll work on that for next time. So the main focus of this footage is the Dawesville Bridge, which if you use elevation map tools, you'll see it goes from about 17 metres to 23 metres above sea level. There was still a bit of distortion going on while the sun was setting. So it's not crystal clear footage, but you can see how flat it is right up to the bridge, 16.5 kilometers away. All of that bridge is visible. You can see the cars on top of the bridge going across. Those green lights on the bridge are the bridge lights. In that area around the bridge, there are channel lights, both red and green, which you can clearly see. I didn't bother looking them up, but I'm pretty sure the channel lights are under 51 feet high. The main thing about this footage is to show the difference flat stationary or slow moving water has on the footage you get. I often hear Globus say crap like a 2 meter wave can't hide a 4 meter whatever. The truth is the rougher the water, the more the obstruction. It's as simple as that. We don't see enough flat calm water observations. So if you're filming over water with any amount of movement like the Salton Sea had that day, the footage will be different than if the water was really calm and still. You need to film over different conditions to get a full understanding of what's going on. To claim a globe Earth based on one observation with the sea movement that I saw in the footage is just ridiculous. So by the way, the horizon in this footage should be 2.34 kilometers away. I looked and looked, but I just couldn't find that darn horizon. But Globe is still claiming curvature when showing ships at sea, that's fine. But show me the same amount of curvature on a flat, calm body of water like Collins Pool when there is no wind and you have glass-like conditions. Then I'll pay attention. So if there was any obstruction, I couldn't claim swell or waves were the reason. Every time I film over glass like water like this, you can never see the horizon and nothing is ever obstructed. I'm still to film early morning here and when I do, I'll post that footage. I have a suspicion that early morning might be the best footage to get. 
Thanks for watching. Hello, it's me, you know when indoctrination started while we were still naive, programming our beliefs, and that inertia is the reason we don't feel the earth spinning, hello, can you hear me? Did you ever stop to question the confession of gravity as a theory? Funny thing, force alone can be explained with buoyancy and density. The sun is closer than what they've told us, not 90 million miles away. See